because yesterday, woohoo, I went proper shopping. <laughs> um, I catched a lift with my hubby. He was going um, to Southampton Docks to deliver a car. So um, he said he'd be passing or sort of passing by to Village. So I'd heard a lot of amazing things about the place. So I was like, yeah, I'll right, cool. So I had to get up at like five o'clock in the morning, mega early. <laughs> I don't do mornings. Um, but I went down with him and he dropped me off and it was about two and a half hours away from where I live. So it's not somewhere I'm gonna go very often because it's quite far away, but oh my God. <laughs> if, you, if you love handbags and stuff like me, even if you don't buy anything, it was just so interesting to look around. There was loads of amazing handbags and shoes and clothes and it was just like sort of going around a catwalk if you like there was stuff that you probably wouldn't ever wear but it was um amazing to look at but there was vivian westwood prada uh anya hindmarsh uh mulberry um kate spade prada christian dior hundreds and hundreds of handbags burberry beautiful beautiful stuff it was amazing to look at a lot of it i couldn't afford you know i'm just a normal person but it was very interesting. So, I thought I'd just share with you what I did buy because I thought while I'm here, I am going to be a bit naughty. <laughs> it's definitely not too, wouldn't it? So, I thought, well, I'll share it with you because I've not unpacked it because we got back really late last night. So, I've got up this morning and thought I'd share it with you all. So, here are some of the bits that I bought. I went to the Swarovski shop, which has 70% uh, off everything, which is absolute bargain. So, I treated myself to a little ring which was down to £30 which again I think was normally £100. I have had a Swarovski ring before and they're really good, they don't tarnish or anything so I'll show you this. It's really pretty, uh, when the lights are on it, it's so sparkly, it's really dainty, it's a bit like a flower I suppose, little leaves and yeah it's really sweet, it's very very lovely, it feels really nice to wear and Again, great for a night out, very twinkly, nice, that's my ring. And I also got, which were £20 each, so I got one for me and one for my mum. And they're the Stardust bracelets, but I have tried one on just before I was about to do this YouTube. And I can't get it off, I have no idea how to undo it. I've even been looking on YouTube trying to undo it, I've even got a knife because I got so mad. And I can't get the bloody thing undone. So in the minute I'm stuck with this Stardust bracelet on my arm. It's beautiful, it's so sparkly. And they have like a magnetic clasp. So whether I'll give this one to my mum for Christmas, I don't know because my mum will not be able to get it undone. So whether that's why they, they were in the outlet and they were cheap, I don't know. But they were £20 and I think they're normally, I don't know if they're £40 or £60 normally. So I don't know how to turn there. Mr. Bracelet. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous and they shine like anything. If you can see this, and they have like a, a magnetic clasp. And see, I can't even undo this one, and this one's not even on my arm. So, whether this was why they were cheap, I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to be on my arm for, but I really can't get it off. I can't even undo this one. The YouTube man said you hold it and you push down i mean how can you wear this on your arm if you can't you can't even get it undone <sighs> i can't do it so that's the one i got for my mum and this one is mine which is now stuck on my arm so i have been trying for about the last half an hour to get it off so i'm gonna have to wait for my hubby to come over work or something because i can't get it off anyway so that that was my beautiful bracelets that's now going to be stuck with me for life Ooh. <laughs> it could only happen to me couldn't it I also went in Kate Spade, um, again I'm a sucker for packages, love a pink bag, and I treat myself to, here's the little bag it comes in, and I'm hoping this one will come off, <laughs> um, a lovely little gold plated bracelet which says delightful on it, and it has little Kate Spade logo in there, and I'll pop this on and show you, that's really pretty. And again, when there's lights and stuff on it, that all twinkles, but it was really sweet and delightful. And that comes off, like this one. <laughs> oh, can you imagine having to go to A&E to try and get them to get it off? I've tried everything, knife, spoon, rope shift. Anyway, enough of my dilemma with the bracelet. 
Then I went in, where did I go next? Oh, um, I went in Ted Baker and I bought this beautiful cape, which is absolutely stunning. It's navy blue and it's so smart. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I'll try and pop it round me. I'll take my jacket off. I was, it was cold to have my jacket on this morning. My jacket. And again, this was on sale for um, 130, which I have seen them on eBay for 160. So it's still cheaper than uh, if you bought one on eBay. Right, it's got a pop fastening there. And a popper, two poppers on this side. Doesn't really match my scruffy jeans, but when you've got some nice smart jeans on, then there we go, there's cape. Like so. And it is wool, so I know they're not warm on a really cold day, but um, if you're just nipping into town or something, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so smart. They feel beautiful, I really liked it. So that was my cape. And it's got Ted Baker logo on there, which has got plastic on it, so I have to take that off. But it looks beautiful on. Really, really smart, feels gorgeous. And I also got, while I was in there, um, a necklace. It was quite nice in the Ted Baker shop. They did have some nice bits, actually. They had loads of clothes and stuff as well. And it says on it, get it out, and glassy. It says fabulous on it, Ta -da! which I think if you want to have a fabulous day, I thought that was very sweet. Then I also got another bracelet, I think I had a bit of a bracelet thing going off yesterday, you know, so. and we do have them on display and then when you go to buy one, they go and fetch you a brand new one out the back. And this has got Ted Baker logo engraved on the little, each little stone. And it's like a little cuff bracelet. So it has little holes in it and you just push the little gold stud through it. She says, that's it. And that's the little Ted Baker one. Which again, if you've got a little skinny watch on, it looks quite nice. So that's a bracelet. That was very sweet. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's leather. Is it leather? Yeah, it's leather, so it's a little leather cuff, and that was 15, I think, reduced from 30. So, again, it would make a nice present for somebody. And then I went in, where else did I go? Karen Millen. Got this gigantic bag, which I then had to go for the rest of the day. It was quite big, it got in my way of it. Um, and I got another, I got a coat, which again, I seem to have a bit of an orange thing going off, didn't I? Which was really smart. And it was in the sale, and it was 200 and something, but then when I went to pay, it was down to 160, which for a wool coat, I think is a pretty good price. And again, it's got stripes on it. Look a bit like a stick of rock. <laughs> but I thought if you've got a nice handbag, um, and if it's cold, I thought it was really nice. And the only other 10 left, and I'm about 12, so as long as I ain't got a really thick jumping on, I should get away with it. She says. Ooh, breathe in a bit. Right, and that's that. And again, because I thought it was nice to have the colour turn up a bit, the underneath of the colour is orange. But because the colour's dark, it won't actually show any makeup or anything on your face. So. And it feels gorgeous. Again, not with these scruffy jeans, but when you've got really smart jeans on, I thought it was really nice. I've never really seen a coat like this before, so I thought it was pretty posh looking. And that's it closer up. So you see, you can have the collar up, like posh people do, um, but this won't show the dirt, won't show makeup, so I thought that was really nice. Right, when it's cheap, when it's cold, it'll be nice and cheerful, won't it? So that's my posh coat. And then 
The bottom, yeah, it is black. I was thinking it was navy, but it's not. It's black, that bottom stripe. And then I went in the last shop. Oh no, I've got two more today. I went in and your hind march, which I was really excited about going in. And do you like it's got a little thing even there? There's nothing in there, but it's like really quirky. It's like a little envelope thing. I loved it in there. Really nice. I don't own any and your hind march bag, so. It was really nice to go and have a look at the handbags. The only thing I can say, I would like to treat myself to one because a lot of them have got road signs and stuff on, which my husband does a lot to do with cars, so, and we love cars, so road signs and stuff are very apt for my family. Um, but a lot of the bags were quite heavy. I think it's because they were really thick leather. And when I picked them up, I thought, ooh, quite heavy. So I think you'd want to actually feel one before ordering it. So I couldn't afford a bag, so I did treat myself to a couple of little accessories, which... They don't look much, but when you actually put them on your bag, they did actually look really cool. If, I, uh, if it comes in, again, suck the packaging. They come in like a little on your hand march, little like cloth, and they show it you all before they package it up. So I got this little tag, it's leather, and it's really cute, and it's got like a little roundabout symbol on it. And then inside there, it's got a little key ring which says <coughs> well key hoop thing says Anya Hind March on it and I know this is real not fake like the person bought off eBay and then it has her signature little bow on it and then you hook it through the strap on your bag and it looks really cute <laughs> in fact if I go and fetch my bag I can quickly show you I'll just put that back through there right I'll go and fetch my bag one minute took with me yesterday, I had my little uh, uh, twilly scarf on there, but I'll put it on this side and show you. I just thought it looked cool. So you just hook it through your strap. You could actually go through that bit if you wanted to, but that's your little, little road sign thing. I thought it was cute. And then I also got from there, again, another little nice box. Another little dust cloth, and then I got this little key purse which says give way, and her little tassels in there, I've got to take the packaging off, um, again that's leather, it's got her signature little bow on it there, um, and it's got Anya Hind March on there, her stuff is quite expensive, it's not cheap, but the quality of it's lovely, and I think it's all handmade in... Italy they were telling me yesterday and it's beautiful, beautiful stuff, I really liked it and that's my little, my little uh, keychains, cute aren't they, I liked them and obviously this is a purse so it, it does unzip, there's a little bits inside, I don't know what you'd fit in there really but I just liked it, I thought it was cute, Oop, that's my little bits what I got from there. So I'm going to save up for a bag, so watch this space for an onion bag, I can't wait, I loved them, <laughs> so sweet. And then I got a bit carried away and I went in MCM I think it's called, which <clears throat> they're not normally my style of bags because they're quite sort of rucksacky and stuff, but when I went in there this really caught my eye. I suppose it's because I was getting tired, I bought it just before I got my lift home, but it's like a miniature rucksack and it's covered in little crystals and it shone so so much I'm sure I used to be a magpie in a different life <laughs> but it was so pretty I loved it and it's got the MCM logo on on the front of it on there you can see that and then again it opens up not that you'd really put anything in there but it's got a little pouch in there in fact I could attach it to my chihuahua I couldn't I take it for a walk <laughs> put a poo bags in there and then that lifts up. So I suppose, I don't know if you could wear it on your belt buckle, I suppose you could. It could I could keep my poop bags in it, couldn't I? <laughs> um, but I thought about putting on my keys, or again, you could attach it to your, your bag if you wanted to. Oh, you wouldn't have this many accessories on your bag, but... Um, and that one. Like so. It's so sparkly, I really liked it. 
the quality feels amazing. And that was my little haul. So I spent a bit of money. Oops. <laughs> but I really enjoyed myself. It was really good fun. So if you fancy a trip out to look at some design handbags, go. It's worth going to look at, especially if you do live around there. But if you live around there, I'm sure you've been before. But they're extending it and... I think it said there was another 30 odd shops going to be there in 2017 so I may have to go back next year for a look if my hubby dates me again but fantastic place, very very interesting um, I loved it in the Burby shop, they got some really nice stuff as well and this, they got some of the bags similar to what my mum bought the other day and yeah it was very very interesting the only thing I can say, you can't go and have a good neb round because every shop you go in the sales assistants all want to help you they're like hello can I help you madam and Sometimes you just want to like pick bags up and not be looked at, but I suppose because they're a lot of money, they can't just let you pick them all up. So that was the only thing that I felt a bit, because I was on my own as well, felt a bit intimidated a little bit, but never mind. My dad used to say, if you put us all in a sausage machine, we'd all come out the same, but some would have more bristle than others. <laughs> Quite a good saying, I think. So, if you get a minute, please subscribe to my channel. I'm always up to no good shopping and talking about handbags and stuff and hair and makeup and whatever you're up to today. Please have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. And hopefully I will eventually get this bracelet off. <laughs> I love it, but I don't want it to be stuck on my arm forever. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye.